hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we're going to take a look at a card game for two to four players, ages 14 plus, and it'll play between 15 to 20 minutes. Now, it's an interesting spin on set collecting, and I actually enjoyed the game. In it, you'll play a witch card for an action. Be careful, though, because there are only five different witches, and you won't gain an action back until you've played all five cards. The witches will let you collect ingredients for cauldrons. Cauldrons call for particular ingredients, but it's the ingredients that will get you points as you collect them in sets. It's brought to us by Alley Cat Games. It's Cauldron Master. Let's take a look at it. In the game, we have a number of different cards. Witches, cauldrons, and ingredients. The witch cards will determine your actions and turn order based on the lowest value card played. Be careful though, because you must play all five cards before you gain them back to do a particular action. We have wild cauldrons, a basic cauldron, which everyone will start with, and then varying types. These cauldrons will show you which ingredients they need to be fulfilled. Ingredient cards vary. We have five green of each type of card, four orange of each type of card, and three red of each type of card. The fewer the cards, the higher the point value. These cards can be collected in sets to gain you more points in a cauldron. For instance, in this cauldron, it calls for four orange cards. So if you had one of each, they would be two points apiece. However, if it had three fairy wings and a frog's blood, three fairy wings would gain you 12 points, a frog's blood, two points. Let's take a look at the setup and the gameplay. Each player will receive their five witch cards and a basic cauldron. You will be dealt three other cauldron cards, keeping two of them, returning the other. We have the wild cauldrons set aside, and you lay out five random cauldron cards. You also lay out ingredients based on the number of players. We're ready to begin. In a round, a number of things will happen. You will pick a witch, determine player order, pick ingredient cards, possibly complete cauldron cards, select a new cauldron, and it's the next player's turn. All players will select a witch card from their hand and simultaneously reveal. Turn order for that round is determined by lowest numeric value going first. If there's a tie, use a tie break token, and at the end of the round, that token will pass to the player on the left. So whoever has the lowest card will go first and take the appropriate action of selecting ingredients. They can then add those ingredients to their cauldrons. You will only ever have three cauldrons in your personal play space. And if you complete a cauldron, you will set it aside to be scored and immediately replace it. Cauldron cards will be replenished as they're taken. However, ingredient cards are not replenished until the end of the round after every player has had a chance at taking cards. At the end of your turn, you set your witch card aside and you're down to four cards. You will not gain these cards back until the end of the fifth round and you've used them all at least once. Game end is triggered when the last card from the ingredient deck is placed and you finish the round. Count up the points from your cauldrons. The player with the most points will win. And that, my friends, is Cauldron Master. A couple of things I'd like to say. This is just a prototype, not final production quality, so don't judge a book by its cover. But when it comes to the gameplay, I really enjoyed it. I like the fact that it's not just straight turn order. You have to be careful of how and when you play your witches because whoever has the lowest number is going to go first. So you have to decide which actions you want and when based on what's out there in the market of ingredients. I enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.